finally, let's talk about the plants and whether they suffer. Because the latest idiocy and lunacy being tossed my way the last couple of years has been, hey man, carrots suffer and die just like cows do, so what's the difference? Okay, in case you were unaware of this difference, you have to have a functioning central nervous system connected to a brain in order to suffer. And this is not up for debate. Which is why people in the hospital who are brain dead, but still alive, but can't feel anything, are called... Vegetables. How about that? A little truth in science for a change. Yeah, we don't call these people fish. We don't call them chickens and turkeys and cows and pigs. We call them vegetables. But even if someone somehow proved that insentient life forms like plants were capable of suffering, were causing more harm to the planet by harvesting all the plants, by feeding all those plants to the animals, and killing all the animals to get the nutrients they got from the plants, which were all the nutrients that we needed to begin with, with all the crop land in America alone, America could be feeding 10 billion people. Again, there's only seven and a half billion on the planet, which means less land would be used, less plants would be harvested, less violence committed if we ate plants directly. And if plants really can't suffer, how come firefighters never rescue them? And don't say it's discriminatory, because animals are the most discriminated species on this planet. But there's still a plan in place to save them during a fire. Humans get saved first, but if it's safe to do so, even if it's unsafe to do so, don't go back inside and save the animals. But even if it were safe to do so again, no firefighter in the history of the world has ever gone back in a third time to save the chrysanthemums. Hey, Bob, quick, you save the basil plant from the kitchen, I'll get the rhododendron from the second floor. <laughs> do you think that if I gave lectures about cruelty to vegetables, especially root vegetables like yam, called my speech, The Silence of the Yams. Because everybody knows that yams scream for about 30 to 45 seconds after you yank them out of the ground before they die. That I would have been invited into 180 schools to give 2,600 lectures to 60,000 students in 30 different states. And I was just thinking about this the other day, but what do we say about fruits and vegetables when they get old? They're ripe, ready to eat, or rot. And what do we say about animals when they get old? They're old. Because animals are alive in the exact same way that we are. And plants are food. <laughs>